I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Monday, October the 4th, brought to you in part by Joplin Regional Stockyards. Lighter run here for the regular feeder cattle sale here this Monday, 4,000 head expected. Uh, now keep in mind on Wednesday, uh, after the way up cow sale, uh, they've got a special cow and bull sale, starts at 4.30 in the afternoon, got a nice run uh, expected for that and then come back on Thursday at 1 o'clock p.m. there at the barn they're having a prime time livestock video uh, feeder cattle video sale so if you guys uh, are interested in either of those uh, don't dilly dally because it's getting right on us here but uh, don't forget Wednesday's uh, special cow and bull sale and the video sale on Thursday at 1 o'clock p.m. technically oversold and that's the way your futures market is right now uh, you look at uh, you know several of those indicators RSI stochastics and things like that uh, they are off the charts oversold for this cattle board right now so we should see some support here this week uh, of course there'll be another rule uh, you know it's kind of like uh, reading your horoscope there'll be another rule if it, if it ends up continuing to go down but uh, uh, you know we should see some support there it's just gone down so much here in the last month month and a half but uh, we, we look forward to some support here somewhere we just think how much we've lost you know we had our April uh, live cattle board well into the 140s at one point now I think uh, last I checked is about 133 and so we've lost a lot there uh, we're getting pressure on our cash market not necessarily because uh, of the weak board but uh, calf pressure on, on our feeder cattle markets. Lots of calves coming to town. And, uh, and I mentioned that you know earlier last week that our receipts are different than they were. We're kind of falling off on our big high volume sales. Just like I said, Joplin's only got 4,000 head uh, because we're, we ran out of yearlings. And normally those yearlings kind of migrate to those bigger sales because they'll have the bigger high volume uh, feeder cattle buyers there, your yearling buyers there. Uh, but uh, now we're seeing our big runs and all of our mom and pop sale barns and our little country sale barns all over. Uh, they're having their biggest runs, some of them of the year, especially in the Northern Plains. Well, we'll talk about those in a minute, but some big, big runs and, and just a lot of calves coming. Most of them are not weaned, uh, especially in those dry areas. They just didn't have the opportunity to get that done. but. We are in dead calf month. Don't forget, October is dead calf month, and uh, there'll be lots of those being drug out. Uh, if you haven't tried to straighten up uh, high risk calves in October, uh, you haven't really lived <laughs> because it is miserable. It'll work on your psyche, uh, make you depressed, uh, and uh, you you just wonder, you know, if you're doing any good at all. But uh, uh, it's hot. It's supposed to be up in the high 80s here in the Texas Panhandle. Uh, this week and then it gets down you know in the low 50s at night and even colder and sometimes but uh, those big temperature uh, swings like that are just hard hard on those calves trying to straighten them out but uh, the pressure we see on your fat cattle cash market a lot of that has to do with uh, the slow chain speeds uh, these packers just look like they're looking for any excuse to, to shut those plants down, make them dark, uh, ease off on a shift. Uh, I've never seen so many mechanical breakdowns. Uh, you'd think they would uh, kind of keep those things checked out if they wanted to make money and they're still making big money per head but they're just kind of trying to woo things up a little bit because all the cattle that are promised to them over the next six weeks or so uh, that they don't want to get into them too quick and and also they're trying to shore up the box beef cutout values because they've been going down hard uh, probably this week or next they should kind of turn around and, and start finding some support uh, you know heaven forbid we've got choice cuts uh, under three dollars a pound now of course your packers don't want to pay anywhere near two dollars a pound for dressed uh, cattle uh, you would think there would be plenty of room in there but uh, uh, kind of slow chain speeds and, and uh, of course our, our cattle sellers and the feedlots don't have any leverage to speak of at all right now. But let's look at the board for last week, October live cattle futures. Monday was down 52, Tuesday down 40, Wednesday down 22, Thursday down a buck 20, and Friday down 17 cents. So a downer every day of the week last week in your live cattle pits. October ended the week 120.40. 
That was down $2.52 for the week, which is not horrible because we can go a lot more than that in one day, but it's just, just weakness, just weakness, uh, continued weakness uh, every day last week. And like I said, we should see a little bit of uh, positive turnaround this week if, uh, if our technical indicators uh, have anything to say about it. December live cattle futures ended the week at 125.20. That's down 295 for the week. Feeder cattle in October, a lot more volatile in your feeder cattle fits, but October contract Monday was down 257. Tuesday was up a dollar thirty-five. Wednesday down a buck fifty. Thursday down two oh seven. Friday up twenty cents, but October feeder cattle ended the week at 152.75. That was down four dollars and sixty cents for the week. November feeders down five sixty-seven. Uh, ending the week at 152.90. Uh, a little bit of pressure of that came from corn, uh, December spot corn uh, contracts on Chicago Board of Trade ended the week at 541 and a half. That was up 14 and three quarters cent. Your fat cattle trade uh, through Thursday of last week, 67,800 head. That's the biggest we've seen for quite a while up through Thursday. And then we had some more sales on Friday. So uh, we're going to have uh, we're not going to get anything close to 100,000 head, but it's better than kind of what we've been doing, you know, in the 50s. But uh, so we're just dwindling down where there's, there's no uh, negotiated cash trade at all. Uh, they're turning in a lot of negotiated grid. Uh, there's absolutely no negotiation on that grid. And there's very little negotiation even in the cash sales. Uh, it's not like you can turn the bid down uh, and you get to haggle around back and forth. Uh, very seldom does that happen. It's mostly take it or leave it, and if you leave it, you may not get another one for several weeks. But uh, look at your prices through Thursday of last week in your fat calorina and had a big Wednesday, but uh, your cash prices were steady to a buck lower from 120 to 124 on fat steers and heifers, weighted average on live steers, 122.65. Now is down about a buck compared to the previous weeks up through Thursday and not going to see any change. Uh, might be a little bit lower on a dab of Friday trade thrown in there, but uh, not too whippy. Uh, your, your dress sales through Thursday of last week ranged from 188 to 196, mostly 192 to 196, and that was one to two dollars lower. Uh, weighted average on dress steers 195.16 down around a buck and a half compared to the previous week there. And like I said, not going to be much changed with the Dabba Friday sales. But on Friday, we did see some sales in the Northern Plains. 2,900 head confirmed in Iowa. 33,300 head for the week. Up. Not bad movement there for Iowa. Live sales from 120 and a half to 123, but mostly 122. Uh, a few dress sales at 192, which was the extreme bottom of the price range there. Nebraska, 3,100 head on Friday, 23,600 head for the week. Uh, live price at 122 and dressed from 192 to 196. Uh, I got to give uh, some kudos to Consolidated Beef Producers because uh, in, in the Texas cash pool, which they had less than 300 head, but they had that last Tuesday and, uh, and they had the sealed bid the way they do that and they were able to get the 124. That was the top price paid anywhere uh, in your five area feeding region live for fat cattle. And it was able to get more of those sales uh, on a direct basis in Texas at 124, maybe even a few in Kansas. But Kansas then, Texas didn't sell anything on Friday. Kansas had 9,600 head for the week and Texas just 7,200 head for the week. We have feeder cattle sales that have that many receipts. Uh, in one spot. Box beef cutout values, like I said, were a bunch lower. Uh, we're expecting those to shore up in the next week or two, but uh, your weighted average on all of last week's sales on choice cuts, 297.79, uh, down almost $11 there compared to the previous week's weighted average. And late week sales on Friday afternoon, choice cuts were all the way down to 290, 236. Uh, selects, uh, weighted average on all of last week's sales, 270.93. That was down 582 compared to the weighted average the previous week, and, and late sales were uh, under 265. 
So uh, we've seen some significant losses. Of course, they're still making plenty of money there, like I said, but uh, they've gone down a bunch from those uh, artificial inflated highs that we'd seen there uh, late in the summer. But uh, the, the, the chain speeds have been really slow here, kind of sluggish. Uh, last week, 637,000 uh, slaughtered. That was 4,000 less than kind of a week uh, a week of session the week before, and 27,000 less than the same week a year ago. So uh, a long ways off of that. Let's talk about your feeder cattle market, your real-time index on DV auction. Ended the week, that's based on an 800-pound steer, Ended the week at 150.75. That was down 144 uh, for the week. Uh, and like I said several times, if you've got true yearlings, they'll, they'll still bring it all. But these big calves are pulling down on the price uh, on your on your uh, eight weight feeder steers because we've got some calves slipping in there because it's seven to 899 pounds. So you'll get a lot of seven weight calves, and they'll really pull down on that uh, index level. Uh, some of your big sales late last week, St. Ons Livestock, St. On South Dakota. My buddy Justin Tupper there, man, he's been having some big sales here. Uh, and a lot of it due to the drought because uh, normally wouldn't be getting those sales here until later this month. But he's already had some big sales and had one on Friday. 7,100 head uh, and your calf prices were steady to five bucks lower for the most part because everybody's getting filled up with these big calves and, and we're already seeing a, a truck shortage that's a big deal because uh, a lot of your guys don't want to, or not, nobody wants your calves laying around the sale barn for several days they want to get them loaded up and get them out of there and if you don't have trucks to do it uh, you're kind of up again it but there were some spots that were as much as five dollars higher on those peewee 400 pound steers uh, so you know a lot of them uh, have already gone by and we're not seeing as many of those little peewees and a lot of people like to turn a four weight steer out uh, or heifer on wheat so uh, there was better demand for those and those were spots five bucks higher but the best quote that I saw come out of St. Ons on a calf like that 51 head 500 pound steers on the dot bring 191 dollars how about Crawford Livestock Market in Crawford, Nebraska? They had a big sale on Friday, 5,300 head. Look at this automated market report from Cattle Market Central through DV Auction there. You see the best tested weights, 1,047 head of five weight steers, average 552 at 175.06 on your weighted average price. The heifers, 885 head of your five weight heifer calves. Average 544 pounds at 150.59 weighted average price there. Uh, I'll give you a quote. Uh, Greg sent me a quote uh, last uh, Thursday night, but I'd already recorded the video, but he was still working. Uh, Valentine Livestock, Valentine, Nebraska, uh, told me several quotes. Uh, the best one that I saw on this was last Thursday in Valentine. Randy Stoner family had 173 head of 585 pound steer calves bring 184.50. Now also on Friday, this, uh, this past Friday, Lexington Livestock Market in Lexington, Nebraska had the best quote that I saw on yearling feeders. Uh, they'll still bring a big bunch of money if you've got some off grass. 121 head weighed 956 at 154.60. Now that's a buck over your index level, uh, 150 pounds bigger than what your index is based on. But the best quote that I saw anywhere late last week was on some big calves, and there's lots of those around, but they had a big quote in Crawford Livestock Market in Crawford, Nebraska. 111 head of steers weighed 689 pounds at $174. And that's your feeder flash for Monday.